Okay, so hi again everyone. Um, this time I'm going to be talking about a free app called BandLab. Uh, BandLab is also freely available on the net as well. And what BandLab is, is a digital audio workstation or DAW. And the digital audio workstation is like the most advanced type of music software that lets you do lots of things like recording, singing, guitar and making music electronically as well. So. We're going to just open up this band lab and it comes up like this. You have to sign into this one, which is worth doing because you get a lot of stuff for free and it's quite complicated, but I'll just show you the sort of two most sort of simple ways to make music with it. So when we open up this page, we press add to make a new uh, composition and it gives us all these options. So we have stuff like import track if you wanted to remix a track. We have voice, MIDI, looper, guitar and bass. So voice, guitar and bass really require you to have what's called an audio interface. Um, so they're a bit more complicated, but you can still do a lot of stuff with these two looper and MIDI instruments. So we'll start off with looper. Now, it gives you a chance to discover and download lots of different types of tracks, different kind of packs of sounds, basically. And when you download these, you can then like remix them and do lots of interesting stuff with them. So I've downloaded a few, so I'll try this one called IDM. And it loads it up and it looks like this. So it looks very much like the Launchpad. Um, I don't know if you remember the Launchpad app, I'm sure you do. So we can make music with this quite easily by pressing on any of the square to launch. I'm pressing again to stop it. Okay, so this gives us like all these different options. And again, it works by one loop per column. So we can only play one thing in each column at a time. So that's like the way all the kind of these launch pad type apps work. And if we want to speed it up or slow it down, we can go to the settings at the top and that gives us the tempo. So we can speed it up a bit and let's go up to 140. So that's 140 beats per minute. So you can hear that's faster now. Now, say we want to record some of this stuff and then use it as a backing for our track it's quite easy to do. We just press the record button at the bottom. But first of all, we want to have a little um, counting to play along with. So I'm going to go into the settings again and scroll down to where it says counting. And I'll select one bar. Okay. So we go back to here now. Now press this, which will give us a little counting so that we know when to start. Okay, so that's probably enough for just now. Okay, so we recorded that. I'll just mute all these stories just now. Okay, the snare's still going there. Uh, okay, so you heard the little click going there. So that's just this little metronome in the bottom right-hand corner here, which we can switch on and off, toggle that on and off. So that's it off now. And what I'll do is I'll shrink this down by pressing the little arrow button there. If we go back to the start and play. You can see it's recorded what I've just done on the launch pad on this track here. So now we've got a backing track that works. It 
just recorded exactly what I've just done there on the launch pad. Okay, so now I'm going to add another thing, which is a MIDI instrument. So MIDI instruments are like um, electronic instruments that we can just play along with on a keyboard. So on the tablet here, it will just launch a little sort of uh, launch a little keyboard that we can play along with. So let's see, I'll just add in something we've already I've already downloaded. Again, we can download lots of different sounds off the BandLab website. It's quite easy to do. Just click Discover, and it lets you download packs. Okay, so we've now got a keyboard to play along with. So if I go back to the start and we can just record a bit of keyboard along with our uh, looper track. Okay, so I'm in the wrong key. should be in B, but um, actually, if we look at this track, let's listen to it, what I've just played. Okay, so it's a wee bit out of time, so what I'm going to do is just delete that, so if you click on it and press delete, and I'm going to try and do that again, but this time I'm going to click this Q button at the top, and what that does is quantize as I'm playing, which quantize means knock it into time, so it makes it to sound a bit better. So I'll do the same thing, record again. I know this time I'm going to play the right note. Here it goes. Okay, so let's have a listen to that. Hopefully it should sound a little bit more in time. So it is a little bit more in time. If I double click on that, oops, we can see the notes on what is called a piano roll view. So this is like another common feature of like digital audio workstations as you can see the notes as you've played them and then we can edit them, so sort of drag them uh, about the place so they can be played just in different parts of the book. Okay, so we'll click done. And now we can basically loop this one. What I'm going to do if you click it, it lets you resize it. So I'm going to resize it to bar 9. And then I'm going to click loop. So we're just going to go around. And let's see. Yeah, it's going to loop once at the moment. So let's play again. Okay, so it sounds a bit wonky, but it'll be, it'll do. Uh, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add another MIDI instrument. So I'm clicking add and then go to MIDI instruments. This time I'm going to add some drums. So we've got loads of different types of drums, and I've already downloaded this one here. So these ones haven't been downloaded yet, but just to download them, you just click it. And if I want to open it, double click it. So this shows up like this. Okay, um, what I'll do is I'll actually change that one. Okay, so this little bit here at the side lets you mix it. It also lets you delete the track. So I'm gonna add another track instead, and I'm gonna go for percussion this time. So drums, Afro Cuban percussion. Okay, now let's time record this. Forgot to put the Q on again, so I'll put the Q on.
Okay. So it sounds a bit mad there, but actually what I can do is just take the last little bit, maybe one little bit of that and loop it. So I'm going to go take this like this, go to here, move it back. I just take a little bit, just a little bit and loop it so place. Okay. So I'll just do that first couple of bars and then loop. Ah, so here we go, it gives us the time to want to loop it. So we can loop it four times. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so what we could actually do as well is have some effects on it. So if we double click on it here, it gives us this chance to add effects. And so we can make it industrial drum, just play it. So the effects are quite fun. If you click on the little um, mixer button, it lets you change the effects. I'm not compared with that there. So that's just a kind of very brief introduction to um, BandLab. Like I say, there's a lot more to it than that, but this is quite a good way of just like um, getting started with it using the looper. So I'll show you that again, the looper. Thanks. Looper. And the MIDI instruments to get started. And it works on tablet, Android and iOS, and it works on phone, and it works online. You can go to the BandLab website and use it online on your PC or laptop. Okay, well have fun with that and see you next time.